Magma's blend tool will let you make either smooth transitions between colors or add a bit of painterly blending between them. It has many of the same properties as the brush, such as size, size jitter, flow and spacing, but there are also unique settings, specifically stretch and paint. Stretch will determine how much of a color will be pulled along your brushstroke into the next one. So for example, a low stretch setting will drag your starting color over a much shorter distance. When you increase the percentage, the distance will increase. You can also use the pressure toggle to add a bit more control to the setting if you're using a pressure sensitive stylus. The paint slider allows you to apply color and blend at the same time. If this is set to zero, your tool will only blend. If it's set to 100, then it will only apply paint and not have a blend effect. This can also be controlled by pressure and it's where things get really interesting. With the setting on, as you press harder, paint will be applied, but as you release pressure in the same stroke, the brush will start to blend more. Opening the advanced settings will give you access to more properties for you to customize, such as the brush tip shape, its angle and roundness. The hardness setting is only available for the circle shape, and when it comes to the spacing of each stamp of the brush shape, keep in mind that a much lower spacing could affect the performance of the blend tool on your device. With this in mind, we have applied a limit on how low the spacing value can be for the blend tool. We have a few presets here already for you to use that should give you some variety in blending effects. If you decide to customize the settings and create your own unique blending brush, be sure to save it.